While Binance is a great place for you to buy and swap cryptocurrencies, storing your assets on Binance is not the safest thing to do. When using Binance, the exchange basically acts as a hot wallet provider, meaning that your cryptocurrencies are more vulnerable to attacks. And what you want to do instead is to transfer them from your Binance account to Alron's own Maya app. So in this video, that's what we are going to do. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Luis from Vistari Vision and if you're interested in learning about Elrond and its various applications, I highly recommend that you subscribe to our channel now and stay until the end of the video where I let you in on a secret about the Maya app. As I've already mentioned, transferring your assets from Binance to the Maya app has various benefits. But before we talk more about that, let's first have a look at how the actual process works. And to do that, we are just going to jump straight into Binance. So let's do that. Okay, so we're on Binance right now. And just for the purposes of this video, I've transferred a bit of e-gold onto my Binance account. And if this is your first time using Binance, maybe you've just bought your first e-gold right here, you'll be wondering where to find your e-gold and any of your other cryptocurrencies that you might have. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to wallet and then under this drop down menu, we are going to fiat and spot. This is where all of your assets are being stored for you. And as I've already mentioned, Binance basically acts as a hot wallet provider, meaning that no matter which cryptocurrency you are going to buy, it's going to be stored there, but you don't have access to your secret phrase, meaning that you're not actually in charge of your cryptocurrencies. They're just being stored on Binance with a permanent internet connection. And that means that your assets are more vulnerable to attacks. So transferring them to the Maya app where you have your secret phrase and you are in charge of the safety of your assets really makes a lot of sense. The first thing we are going to do to withdraw our eagle from the Binance account is we're going to select eagle, which is the top one right here. If you shouldn't find eagle, you can simply use the search bar up top. And then you can see that on the right hand side, there are these various options. So what we could do, for example, is we could convert or basically swap our eagle into another asset. We could deposit some more eagle there. This is what you would do if you had, for example, eagle on your Maya app that you want to transfer to Binance. But what we are interested in is the withdraw button. If you click on withdraw, eagle is already being selected. And now in the second step, Binance is asking us to enter the correct wallet address that we want our eagle to be sent to. And to find out where that is stored, let's jump into the Maya app. Okay, so I've got my Maya app ready to go. And what we are going to do is we're going to click on receive. This is going to show us our wallet address. And now we basically have two options. We can either share our wallet address using the share button on the bottom right, or what we can do instead is we can simply copy our address to the clipboard and then paste it in on Binance. And that's what we're going to do right now. We can simply paste in our address right here and then Binance is going to confirm or not confirm that this is the correct network. If this should display an error message, make sure to review that you have actually got the correct address. The, the easiest thing to do is basically to check the first four and the last four digits and compare them with your wallet address that is displayed in the Maya app. But everything seems to be in order. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to select half an eagle to send and then Binance is going to calculate how much eagle we are actually going to receive. And then we can simply click on withdraw. And in the last step, we are going to have to enter both these codes. One you will get via email and one via either Binance or the Google Authenticator. Simply enter both these codes and then you're ready to go. And it'll may take some time for your assets to be transferred from Binance to the Maya app, but after 10 to 15 minutes, your eagle should arrive. Now that you know how to transfer your eGold from your Binance account to the Maya app, I thought I'd tell you a bit more about why using the Maya app makes so much sense and is such a fun thing to do. The Maya app is built by the Elrond team and it is remarked to be one of the best wallets out there simply because you can do so much more than just storing your assets. First of all, when you download the Maya app for the first time, you will be asked to either sign up with an already existing Elrond wallet 
or to create a new one. And after that, you will also be asked to create what is called a hero tag. Now, the hero tag is basically Elrond's own invention to get around the whole copying and pasting and sending out your whole Elrond wallet address, which let's face it, can be a bit difficult and at times annoying. So the hero tag is basically a username that you can choose for yourself within the Elrond network. And then you can give out your hero tag to other people and let them send you e-gold. It's super easy to do. And what's a great feature is that you can choose an NFT as your profile picture. All in all, the hero tag makes life much easier, which brings me to the second great feature of the Maya app, which is that you can stake your eagle directly within the app. Choose your preferred staking provider, stake your eagle directly in the Maya app, and then you can even reinvest your rewards using the Maya app. And if you'd like to know when the best time is for you to reinvest, check out our staking calculator on our website, istari.vision. And then the last great feature of the Maya app is the easy fiat on-ramping. Now, if you haven't bought eGold yet, or if you're thinking of buying eGold, I suggest you do it just straight from the app. Simply go to buy, choose a payment provider you prefer, and if you'd like to know how to buy eGold in less than five minutes, I highly recommend that you check out our video on the top right here. And now lastly, I will let you in on a secret about the Maya app, which is that you can also transfer your Bitcoin and Ethereum from your Binance account to the Maya app. It's the same process as it is with eGold. Simply go to wallet in the Maya app, choose your wallet address, so either Bitcoin or Ethereum, paste the address in the withdrawal tab on Binance, and then you can transfer your assets to the Maya app and store them there safely and easily. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful and if it was, please leave me a comment below and subscribe to our channel and make sure to share this video with any of your friends who are looking for a way to easily transfer their assets from Binance to the Maya app. You can either check out our video on meter staking next or listen in on our interview we did with Michael Kress and I will see you in the next video.